Hello everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with my two additional clubs from Beads of the Month Club. These are the single hot and trendy and the two whole Beads of the Month Clubs. And I will leave the link to this subscription right down below the video. There are all different options, so you'll have to check out their website and see what they have and what sizes would work best for you. You can either rotate through all their subscriptions or you can pick and choose monthly the ones that you like best. I happen to like a lot of the more adventurous check glass multi-hole shapes just to play around with something different. So I get those single clubs every month and the two themes as you can see here are Chrysocala crystals. These are the two hole beads and then the hot and trendy theme is dreamscape. So I'm really excited to see what's inside. We have eight containers of beads in each of these packages. And I also have a coupon code if you'd like to try them out yourself. That coupon code is OPAL10 and that will save you 10% off the first month of your first subscription. I'll leave that down below with the link to Beads of the Month Club. And let's just go ahead and dive right in. We'll start with Dreamscape. I have that one on the top and it looks like we might see some purple hues, but we've got our eight containers listed out here on the front on this slip of paper. So we know exactly what we're getting. Do a quick flip over. Gorgeous purples in shades of lavender and also like some hematite deep blackish gray beads. So let me go ahead and take these out and then we will get a closer look at each of these types of beads one at a time. All right, so the Hot and Trendy Club, you're gonna get all types of check glass beads in a wide variety of different shapes and sizes. Great if you are looking for somewhat of a surprise, although go with a cohesive theme, but you'll get all sorts of different shapes and you just never know what you're gonna get. And it usually includes multi-hole shapes and single hold shapes in eight containers. So this being the single club, it is the smaller of the two. If you sign up for their double club, you'll also get the eight containers but you'll get twice as many beads inside. So we're gonna start out with the metallic matte purple Minos Parpuka beads, which are these little cylindrical shaped one hole beads. I love that color. So here's a handful of these satiny light purple beads. You can see that single hole that runs through the center of those cylindrical shapes. And on their face, they are round. They make for some dotted patterns depending on how you use them. Next up is a new shape. These are the metallic matte purple Delos Parpuka beads. They look like little crowns. You can see they are a three hole bead actually that we just started getting in these clubs. And this is in that same metallic matte purple as the Minos. So here's a look at these beads up close. They're in great shape. And you can use the beads from these clubs together or just build up a stash over time of all different shapes and sizes and colors and put them together with past items. So you don't have to use all of these together, but they do try to send you a theme and try to change up the colors and the types of beads that are sent in this subscription every month. Next up, we have the eight millimeter purple galaxy bead. It looks like there's 10 pieces inside and I've gotten these before in a different color scheme, but they're really neat. They almost look like they're covered in like micro glitter or something, but you can see that they get a little purplish towards the center and a little bit darker, more of that black tone towards the edges of the bead. These are a single hole bead and you could use these in the same manner as say a round pearl or a round druck bead. And then we have the Jet Antique Chrome Dagger Beads. These are like the mini daggers and really neat with that silvery chrome. Looks like it's sprayed over the top of that black, glossy, opaque glass in the background. That's a really cool combination, bringing our black and silver together, the hole there that runs through the top of those daggers. And then of course they hang down like little fringe or petals and come to a little bit of a point at the end. Next up, we have the Jet Antique Chrome Dragon Scale. So these are in that same color combination.
Aren't those neat? They're so tiny. They have that kite-like shape. They come to a point at the bottom. They have a hole at the top and are a flat scale-like shape, like it says. Add a lot of really interesting texture depending on how you use them. I'm thinking I might have to try these in a kumihimo braid or something. The way that they would stick out would add a great texture. And then next we have the Jet Chrome Tooth Beads. Definitely seeing a lot of that chrome, that metallic, deep silvery color that's popping off of that jet black. And it seems like a lot of them in there. There's 25 pieces. Even though these are the single clubs that I'm showing today, I still feel like there's a lot to work with because especially in bead weaving, you don't need a whole lot of one thing necessarily. But back to these tooth beads, you can see they're similar to a dagger, but they have a curve to them and they're a little bit thicker up at the top. So think of like a dog claw. Part of these, I would say about half of the bead is in the chrome and then half of the bead is the opaque jet black. There's the hole there at the back of the bead. Then we have some of the Crystal Magic Purple Rings. There's 10 pieces inside. I like how those were packaged delicately with a little bit of bubble wrap to keep those from shaking around and possibly breaking. But you can see the wide array of colors we have going on inside of these transparent beads. One side is translucent, at least. The other side is that opaque metallic. You get a lot of different colors coming out. Purples, blues, green, gold. Just all depends on how you look at them. And the eighth container in this theme is holding the Crystal Magic Purple Forget-Me-Not. So just like those rings, this is that same combination of metallic and transparent and all those different colors, this time in these little tiny floral one-hole beads. And here's a closer look. I like how this brings together the purple and also that deeper metallic that we have going on in this theme, but also introduces some other colors. You can really put these with a lot of different things because there's so many different colors that are being picked up. So another fun, exciting, hot and trendy beads of the month in Dreamscape, a different color palette than I've gotten in the past, adding some more purples and silvery black and some of these other rainbow like finishes. So that'll be a lot of fun to play around with and possibly pull from in the future. Another perk of the subscription is that you get a link on your invoice. You get three free downloadable patterns or printable patterns every month that changes. And they often use a lot of these multi-hole shapes, more adventure shapes in those particular patterns. So it's a great way to build up your collection of patterns over time as well and possibly pull from those in the future and utilize some of these more interesting shapes. So next I have the two hole beads of the month club. So this is called Chrysocala Crystals. Again, we have eight different containers we're gonna take a look at, but this time they're all two hole beads. The varieties of the beads will change every month. The theme will change every month. But if you know you like working with check glass two hole beads in particular, then this might be a subscription worth looking into. So doing our flip over, oh my goodness, isn't that a gorgeous palette? Look, the aquas and copper. So once again, I will pull all these things out. We'll take a look at everything closer up one at a time. All right, we start out with the copper gold matte Pyros Parpuka beads. Which are these in this container right here? We have the matte copper metallic, so gorgeous. Another versatile color that'll go with a lot of different things, but in this very unique shape. So more beads in that Parpuka line. These have the brick-like shape, rectangular, with the two holes that run parallel through the face of the bead. And then they come to a little point, like a little house at the top. Here is container number two containing the full Capri Gold Kiops Parpuka beads. These are triangular, as you can see, and these are definitely a lot more shiny and glossy. So that Capri Gold has that coppery look to it, more of a rose gold type of color, and it's got that metallic on both sides. And then as you get toward the center of the bead, it gets a little bit more clear. 
And you have the two holes, they run parallel through the bead, up from the base through the pointed top. And then next we have the Halo Razzmatazz Gem Duo beads. These have a slightly berry-like color in the background, but overall have that coppery gold dusting over the top that makes these overall look very much coppery metallic in color. These are different from any of the ones I have, but you can see that diamond-like shape. They've got two holes that run parallel through the side of the bead. Lots of patterns out there for them. I've done tutorials with these and some of these other multi-hole shapes as well. They have a flat base and then have a little bit of a raised center section right there. Then next up are the Metal Lust Burnt Copper Nibbit Beads. Really cool, glossy, chocolatey brown, adding a deeper coppery brown color to this mix. And there you can see this shape, kind of like a gumdrop. It's a little bit wider on the base, comes to more of a narrow point at the top, has two holes that run parallel through the side. And I love this color with that aqua blue that we're about to see. So next we have our super duos. We usually get super duos in each of these two hole clubs. These are in the pastel light azure color, which is a super creamy sky blue, has a satiny finish. So this is like a really light aqua, goes with some of the slightly deeper aquas that we're about to see. Absolutely gorgeous color. We also have a container of chili beads. These are in pastel aqua. There's 20 pieces inside. And I owe you all a chili bead tutorial. I might have to get some more of these to do that though. I made a bracelet a few months ago and haven't come back yet with the tutorial, which I am sorry about, but it is on the list of things to do. And now I have some of these gorgeous aqua chili beads. So a little bit deeper in color than these Super Duos that we just took a look at, but they also have that smooth satiny finish. These have a curved petal-like shape. They've got the two holes that run through the top of the bead. The bottom comes to a little bit more of a point, so it's kind of like a thicker curved dagger bead with two holes. Really interesting. I've seen a lot of beaded flowers made with these. And then next we have the Pastel Aqua Half Moon, so same color as those chili beads. There's a closer look. You can see why they got their name in that kind of semicircle with the two holes running parallel through the face, flat bottom, and the curved top. And then the last container in this really beautiful selection is Aqua Capri Gold Ginkgos. They also have a CZ shield, it says, so I'm thinking that will keep that gold metallic coating in place on the beads a little bit better, make them more durable over time. And there is a handful, you can see that transparent aqua blue on one side, the other side has that Capri gold metallic color, which kind of brings our whole palette together in a way through these two hole beads, the two holes that run parallel through these ginkgo leaf like shapes that have the point at one end and the curve at the other. So there you have it. That is everything for the two hole beads of the month club as well. I think they did a fantastic job on that one too. Just like I've come to expect with beads of the month club, they're very consistent. And every month you really know what you can expect to get outside of the particular theme and selection of bead shapes. Still a fun surprise every month. And once again, I will leave the link right down below the video as well as that coupon code OPAL10 if you'd like to save 10% off the first month of your first club if you wanna try them out. And just check around their website for all the details on all their different subscriptions because they do have additional ones to offer outside of these. You can also check out my Beads of the Month playlist to see a lot more from them. And feel free to leave a comment 
comment down below. Let me know what you think of these clubs, if you have a favorite or anything else you'd like to say. I love to bring you these subscriptions to show you what they look like up close to see if these are right for you. So if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you back. Finally, just a huge thank you for being with me today to check out these lovely beads. I'll be back again real soon. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, happy beating.